a place of lakes and forests supporting a variety of wildlife, including Repinomimus. Here he prowled during the day, not hiding in the evening darkness like most mammals. Daylight hunting was essential in finding sources of food to maintain his relatively large body. On the prowl, the mammal runs into Hyphalosaurus, an aquatic reptile of two to three feet that was quite common in Leonin. For the mammal, the reptiles are of little interest and it must look elsewhere for food. The mammalian hunter strikes pay dirt when he stumbles on a brood of young Psittacosaurists, a fast-moving plant eater. Like all predators, Repinomimus goes after the most vulnerable, while the terrified young rush back to an adult. The juvenile dinosaurs lack the ability to fight back, but an adult is a different matter. Up to four feet tall and 175 pounds, a full-grown Psittacosaurus is too much for this mammal to handle. For years, this period of mammal and dinosaur evolution was a blank page, but no one had ever imagined that there were mammals that preyed on dinosaurs. Mammals were evolving and changing. 